Hey guys, a real quick uh, BIM management tip or BIM coordination tip, however you know you kind of train uh, your users. So when you get into Revit, you can actually see what type of model that you have. Um, you know, if it's a a work shared model, if it's central, if it's on the the, the cloud, if it's local and I have a couple here so we'll briefly take a look at them um, so this one is a local and you can see that it gives the save path so essentially you know opening that save path location and then has the modify time and then say our size and then over to the right we have a central model so this is a save path that's um, on the local machine but it's set up as a central model and it also sh shows the local copy save path and then modified and then size and then you can kind of see below down here there's a little box uh, the local one doesn't have that and this other one has the box in the cloud so this is pretty much a central file that's hosted on a cloud sharing platform uh, this is on BIM 360 so if we come up here we can see where the save path is and then modified and then size and if we actually click on this, it'll pull down that updated central model. And then we can sync back to it just like we would any other one. Um, so if we go ahead and press that, you can see it's opening the model. If we show details, it's uh, trying to figure out what to load. It does prompt us with this dialog box so we can pick a work set. But we don't have that ability to audit. So keep that in mind when you open it that way. But if you're primarily opening things in um, the cloud, then you don't really have to worry much about people opening up the main central model. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And you can see it's now downloading the uh, host model. And it's loading it as well. Um, it's already downloaded it because I just recently opened this model and then closed it to reopen it. but kind of gives you an idea of what you can do now and not have to worry too much about accidentally opening the central model. BIM 360 kind of manages, manages that stuff for you. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, just a quick tip. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if there was anything I missed or anything I, I uh, kind of said wrong. Uh, let me know if you have any comments, questions and whatnot. Uh, make sure to like, share, share and subscribe if you, if you would like. Uh, and thanks a lot for watching.